it's Monday, it's Vlogmas day six. Oh my god, we have been already like one week. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. morning I'm doing coffee mocha is right here my boyfriend went to buy croissants today again is really boring day I'm just writing vlog and I was thinking maybe I should show you how how from A to Z I make blog posts so that could be one idea to do because otherwise I don't know what to show you this day is really really just working day Hello, it's a little bit little, it's actually next day. I'm a little bit failed, but anyways. The plan is today, I'm going to do a little bit dancing now because I want to dance for a while. Therefore, I just did my t-shirt like this. I will use the same just pants uh, because it's like kind of a fun dancing. It's not like really like sports sports, but I do get like really sweaty. Um, this I'm most likely going to take off and I get really hot. Let's start with dancing. I have done some dancing. I usually do 30 minutes. I did 15 because I just... Not that I couldn't. I can big but i have so much things to do in the morning time i'm scared that i will not do it because on in the afternoon we are going to have some walk around the outlet therefore i wanted to do it like now all i need to do i'm going to have a shower now buy some bread i love how after doing like exercises and everything you can see like a little bit of abs i'm actually really surprised that <laughs> you can see abs on me i have never in my life seen abs on me i have like PCOS uh, syndrome and you can uh, see that story on my on my channel I was talking about it and I can say that here I kind of easily uh, lose weight and you can see even like a little bit abs and like shadows and then comes this part and this part is the one which is like really difficult for me to lose it's like a little belly and to be honest I I'm not doing this to lose weight that's like a bonus but in my mindset I have put this that I do it for health and that has like the last years it has helped me a lot because if you concentrate yourself on losing weight and you see for example that the weight, that weight does not decrease and maybe even more sometimes because of muscle mass you get really discouraged and you get sad and depressed and you start to even eating more or or stuff like, like doing sports it just happens therefore it's better to do it for health because no matter what your weight is if you stay active it will help for your health by the way what I want to say all the, these dancing links from that fitness girl that uh, does those videos on YouTube, I'm going to link those down below. They're really fun, so if you want to stay active and in a fun way, then these will help you. And you can just choose the one video, it's like 15 minutes, or do two videos, it will be 30, and it's like so different and fun music, and oof, and you are like sweating like crazy. back from small walk and now I'm going to straighten hair because I want to have pretty hair when we go out today. I am as always using my uh, straight and curl confidence from Remington. I have done two videos about their, how I straighten and how I curl with them. Those links are on my in my link in my description or on my channel you can find them if you're interested. I think that I have changed some products since I filmed those videos, this is uh, against the hotness and has a UV filter. It's Tresemme Pro Collection, like protection. Then afterwards I use from Botani Botanical Fresh Care kind of this shine vinegar spray. It does make my uh, how like a shine in my hair. It they look more healthy and also it looks uh, because it helps also for like electricity that they are not like electric. 
And for my tips of hair, I use argan oil from Bonte. I think it's from France. I think it's France, French brand or Spanish. Spanish. Let's do this. I think I want to put some movie on, maybe some Christmas movie. my blog post from A to Z like whole deal and I did a little bit like a plan so I don't forget to talk about them uh, I need to I usually in one day write two blog articles I try to usually it end up in two day job it also depends how much research how much everything I need to do about it first obviously I come up with topic and article idea I do try to do it with how to say I try to make it uh, a little bit trendy or about the season. For example, as I try to mostly write about fashion, then, uh, for example, right now I'm going to write winter coats, uh, the best winter coats, which keep you warm and are stylish. That's like this like kind of trendy idea. If you do be fall, I'll write maybe about fall trends and so on. In general, I usually write about trends in the new year, like 2021 I will write that article obviously then uh, I like to write and lately I have been loving to write in a traditional old way in notebook my ideas I, I love it I just feel like that it's not like all the time the screen time and I can just write with pen and I, I love the feeling I, I cannot even explain it but lately I love it and what I do, I write obviously the topic, an article, and then I write headers or main po points, how I want to separate it, to how like this idea and make like this kind of structure of a blog post. For example, about the price point, for example, I would write winter coats uh, uh, underneath, under $50, for example. Then I would write, for example, middle price range uh, from 100 to 200 for example, dollars. And then on the luxury winter coats, and those will be like the big ones. And then I'll write underneath those the small ones, which actually I would write, like which coats, for example, I don't know, Max Mara, foul leather coat. When that's done, I uh, search for keywords. I write down also keywords, and later when I put it everything in my blog post, like in my blog actually, like a draft, because I do it all on documents so I don't lose it. I have had like a problems that I lose or some error occurs and I lose the whole article if I write right in my blog. Therefore I write it now only on my laptop on, in like document and I write down keywords already separated with commas and everything and then I can just copy paste into that where I need to put keywords in my blog. And I do this research, I usually answer, I think that it's called answer public Home. Uh, search there it helps a lot it's like that kind of do this research what people are searching for what questions they're asking how you can help and that way you can be sure also that you do like some blog post and article which gives actual value to the person which is the most important part and on Google obviously and Google I usually write already if I have like my topic or article then I write that and then it suggests something similar and then those I use what people's asking and searching for like all kind of different ways I have started to already prepare photos that I will need for a blog post usually before I write before I, what I did I had my topic and I wrote blog posts without anything without keywords without photos without headers sometimes and it's so bad you need to schedule actually you need to be everything like prepared and then you will see how easy it is to write a blog post. It's so much faster. The same goes for YouTube videos. I have understood that when I schedule the video, the whole filming is so much faster, so much cleaner, so much better structured. Though I prepared also photos because also sometimes, for example, I will understand that I need to take some photos. Maybe I have already these codes. And sometimes I need to take them from either some affiliate marketing I'm working with and then I sometimes I use free stock photo web pages 
like Unsplash is really popular and I use that one and many times writing the actual article takes me 20 to 30 minutes let's say like that. it can take like really fast at times but then adding all the photos searching for keywords like planning everything it makes such a huge mess to be honest if you prepare everything then and and you can just when you finish your article you already have everything you just put all together it's like so fast so easy next i write a blog post and in the document as i said so it doesn't get lost i just write a blog post trying to like the introduction that those points i stated before and ending usually obviously as well what i do next i have purchased even and uh, and invested in uh, grammarly grammarly which checks your grammarly and I invested in that because it helps a lot. I'm not a native English, so it is like a headache sometimes for me. And so my article would look more professional, more put together, better. Then I put it on this on this page, so it's, I check all the mistakes, I change them, I improve it. And when that's done, I can finally transfer this blog article to my blog. And I obviously do all the styling put all the fonts as I, what i use like all the headers everything good the next usually i copy paste those keywords in the bar where i need to put keywords it's also really fast that way because i already have them they are perfect then i add photos and so for your page for your article to show higher for people and more people would find it and read it uh, it helps if you put good description in each photo so I use usually these the same keywords but I found as these product, like photo descriptions and it helps for for my blog post CEO. What is CEO? CEO stands for search engine optimization. It literally means how and where your blog post is going to show up for people who is searching. For example, they're searching for winter coats. They search it for on Google. On which page it's going to show up, how it's going to show up. I also have that one plugin in my blog so I, so it helps improve it like SEO and with keywords and so on and then I check which what I need to improve and then I improve and like it's the whole process kind of the whole process I mean that's all green all perfect all great what I do next is I schedule my blog article in one week I write and schedule for it next week so that way if something happens if I get sick or anything or go on vacation then I know that for that week I'm covered already with the blog post then that's it schedule it and later what other comes is I usually that I do in other day I create pins for Pinterest and that's another CEO that's another marketing that's another learning things and everything maybe one like in general if you're interested to see the backgrounds of how blog posts are being made how to be a blogger and then comment down below and we'll make more videos because i will actually